Hi folks, uh, my name is Kendrick Sullustein. Um, Today in my video, I'm going to be talking about the Elman Peace Human Rights Center. It's actually located, founded in Mogadishu, Somalia. Um, the founder of the person was named Elman Ali Hammond. He was actually the founder of um, Elman Peace Rights Center in the 1990. Plus, he was actually was a uh, Repair engineer, he used to cover, um, he went to Germany, and I also went to LA, and pretty, and he got his, um, degree, got his, um, master's degree, and he was teach, like, what his purpose was, and he had, like, this thing, and, um, it was in Mogadishu, but what makes me really inspired with this man's work, because, um, what the things he did was so, ex his work was really, was a difference. But I know he was from another, I know this is the United States of America, but this is, man's work was actually from Somalia, uh, Mokadushu. So, um, the reason I wanted to talk about him, because he's very interesting, he got my, he really got my attention. So, I love about this man's work because he wanted to make a difference. He always talked about, drop the gun, pick up a pen. And what was the purpose of pick up a pen? You want to at least solve really at least less conflict, you know, change people's like mindset behavior, you know, in different ways, you know, like, but like this. And, um, in 1996, Ali, um, um, Elman Ali Haman, he spoke at a, at a speech and he got killed by, um, it was called, um, El Shabab. It was like El Shabab. It was like El Shabab. El Shabab. <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce it because it's really kind of Arab, but they speak it. Plus, he left um, with um, he left him with his wife. Her name was um, Aiden, um, Fortuna Aiden, and uh, he had like three daughters. And two of his daughter, um, two well, he had three, but two of his daughters. One was a director, one was in the military. And um, Fortuna Aiden, he t she took her three daughters and moved to Canada in 1999. In 2007, um, she came back to Somalia. Um, she wanted to finish up the work when her husband did. And what made me get, what was interesting because um, her work was very powerful, very inspirational. And I, what I liked about her work because what she did was like really for her people, and she really made was was impacting, was so strong. It's like you barely like you would know her work. It's like. And then about a year later, then her did her one of her um middle child, her daughter, her name is Elwan Elman. Um, she was an activist um in Somalia, and also she went back over there to help her. She could have stood in when Canada was we settled and everything with her with her we lived the settled life, but she went back to be with be be by the side with her mother and stuff. What what really got my attention with her because it's just the work she does was very inspiring and it really just. I love her work. But anyway, let me make a point. In 2013, um, Fortuna Aiden got an award and um for the women's um inspiration leader like conference. Like, cause pretty much that's like one of the lowest places in the country to even be a woman, because to be a woman, how she gets very treated very badly. And I kind of feel sorry for some of the women over those other nations, and I really do. But Yes, she got rewarded by um, First Lady Michelle Obama and Secretary John Kerry. Um, it was really inspiration. She had this great work, and it was great. Let me see here. In 2015, um, Elwan Elman, um, she won an award at um, Hartford Law's uh, Hartford University, and uh, it was very good. And she had great, great taste of work. It was very inspiration, and. Um, and she spoke in 2013. She spoke at TEDx in the Mogadishu part. She got this knowledge of great wisdom. She's like, for at least she speaks out for her people, and it's just really inspiration. So, um, yeah, and her work, it's just off the chart. I'm just like, I've been like, I've been watching her work for about like five years. So I feel like I know, but you know, I feel like I should share her work, at least, you know. What I think in my experience, I'm not saying I've been there done it, but I just wanted to tell you guys, share this like story article with this with this family. It's like I'm really inspired by these people. I really am. Because like I don't feel like I should you know, I feel like I should have came open with you guys about this, but I but anyway, let me make one point. But this Elman family, these people will get you. It's like the things they're going through and they're suffering. They you know, they're trying to have the people have the good order of life. 
have the proper education, the proper like things, or like organization, nonprofit. They want to get stuff from them for free and helping them people. But it was just the quote when uh, when Elman Ali Haman said, "Drop the gun, pick the pin up, pick the pin." It, it's just like what got my attention with this with this family because. It's the work they're doing. They're not trying to think about themselves, but what they're doing is for their people. You know, it's for their people. And I mean, what makes me inspired with them is because with Fortuna Aiden and Ellen, um, Alma, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Elman, um, Elwan Elman, and she, um, both of those two women were just in really inspiring impact me. But um, I used to follow her on like on Facebook, and it's really her work was very inspiring. I just loved her work. And I remember her mom's speeches. She spoke at that, um, I can't remember what place in the United States she spoke. It was five years ago. It was in 2013, I remember. And I just, I, she got my attention. She got my attention. But I want you to, oh, and this is, I want you to subscribe to the Elman Peace channel. And I want to send the link down below. So I wanted to give you some information. So please, folks, like, dislike, comment a video, see what you think. I will continue making more later on in the future. Um, you folks, have a wonderful day. Please check them out. You will be inspired by the knowledge they will give you. But I'm just saying this is from another country, but the, the word that knowledge will get you to really blow your mind. You don't ever hear in the United States these people ever hear about. It. You don't hear about them. That's why I feel like I want to share this with you guys. I feel like you guys need to know who these people are. So, anyway, you folks have a wonderful day. Um, this is um, Kendrick Celestine, and I'm out.